Putting Johnson C. Smith University back in the spotlight this month, the school is using the I Matter program to provide students with information on sexual assault, relationship violence, and stalking. I want to welcome Layla Bluford. She is a violence prevention case manager and adjunct professor at the university. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for having me. Coming out on a Friday. We certainly appreciate it. Um, first, tell me how this program works. Um, what we do is we provide um, crisis intervention for students who are experiencing dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking. We do advocacy if we need to change students' rooms, mm -hmm. um, if we need to adjust school schedules um, due to incidents. And we also go into the classrooms because um, violence against women, there's a Campus Save Act that requires us to educate all new students on the dynamics of dating violence, sexual assault, and stalking. Why do you think this program is necessary for college campuses? Um, statistics show one in five females will mm -hmm. experience dating violence or sexual assault during her time on a college campus. Um, so it's just one of the things that the Obama administration is also requiring that the universities have in place now. And that's important. I mean, one in five, that's a startling statistic. Yes. It gets your attention. Yes, it does. Are students taking advantage of this program? Um, they are. Um, we are um, we had to work on getting our program out up in, in, in their faces, and mm -hmm. now that we are there, um, they do. Um, this weekend is homecoming, so we sent out a lot of homecoming tips that we put out on the Internet. We go into classes and dorms just to raise awareness on how to party safe. Um, I'll actually be at the gym party tomorrow night just chaperoning it, kind of um, keeping an eye out on students. And this is a conversation that has to stay in the forefront for our young women. Yes. Women and men, we have to talk about consent, especially during parties and drinking and alcohol and involved. And a lot of people don't understand that if a person is um, intoxicated, they can't give sexual consent. Mm. Um, so it's one of the things that we have to talk about. Uh, we put a lot more information about all of this on WBTV.com. You can go there and look in the web extra section right there on the home page. Uh, Layla Blueford, an adjunct prof uh, professor with Johnson C. Smith University. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for watching on this Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.